Hi ho everyone, this is Erin and I'm about to recreate this Queen of Hearts made by Mary Blair and the original is worth $4,999. <laughs> Mine is worth zero dollars. Um, so starting off here, I just measured where her feet would be so that I could get the proportions right and fit her into this vignette. And you'll see my pencil is barely lifting off the page as I um, stare at my reference to try to make sure that I've got everything in the right place. So I've drawn her in using a, I don't know, an H something pencil, <laughs> not a very dark pencil. Um, and now I'm mixing up some gouache. I've got some true red, primary magenta and black and white. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow, just a tiny bit of yellow to create this, um, her skin tone, which um, is a little bit more yellow than it was in the original piece of concept art. Just checking there, it's still wet. So I have to wait to do a second coat. I did my second coat after it completely dried and now I'm doing her little leggings which are a slightly more pink color and her nose which is very red and I'm guessing maybe that's like a sign that she's sort of a clown figure or she has a drinking problem I'm guessing a little bit of both so there's her little pink nose yeah because she was kind of a scary character but also ridiculous you know and I I'm guessing that the idea, the concept was to make her not too scary because she's talking about chopping off Alice's head and uh, it sort of fits the whole movie. The whole movie seems, you know, it's filled with these kind of psychedelic characters that are uh, really over the top. So Queen of Hearts really fits into that theme. Um, this color here is a little bit too yellow. So my second coat, I added a tiny bit more red and white just to, um, yeah, to, take out that more yellowy tone. I think it's supposed to be kind of a golden color, but it was really close to her skin tone actually in the original piece of concept art. And I did want to keep it as true to the original piece. And the reason I want to do that is because I'm really trying to learn how to color match. You know, that's something that's important in my practice. Um, <clears throat> not only my teaching practice, but in my art practice, I, I'm really um, focused on color. I try to focus on color. Okay, so adding um, more red, both the primary magenta and the true red into this uh, sort of goldeny peach mixture that I had. And because I wanted a toned down red, the red in this image, again, it's probably partly because the image was made in the 1950s, like 1951. So it's um, desaturated over time. You know, this was a concept piece of concept art, so it probably wasn't primered or, or, or fixed or anything onto the, onto the canvas. So the color, oh, there I am trying to dry everything. <laughs> the color uh, was probably quite, or it was, uh, yeah, quite desaturated. So I wanted to recreate that sort of desaturated red. And now I'm mixing the color to do uh, at the top part of her cape here. Um, the collar and it's got a slight a bit of blue in it you really don't want just a straight-up gray especially if you're creating an illustration for kids um, the gray would really kind of drag all the other colors down so just adding a bit of blue ultramarine blue into that so it's a blue gray makes it a little more um, cohesive with the rest of the piece a little more friendly and then uh, yeah putting in the black now um, and I, this is, I'm releasing this on Valentine's Day. I did my Valentine's Day fail video and uh, I didn't talk about, I have this great story where my boyfriend, when I was 18, filled up his room with balloons. But for him, I made him a bunch of sugar cookies and I created this um, tin to put the cookies in that I collaged with all these images of old Valentine's cards and pictures of us and stuff. But I used rubber cement to glue it onto the tin <laughs> where I put all his cookies. So when he tried to eat a cookie, it would it was saturated with the toxins from the rubber cement. And if he had swallowed that cookie, <laughs> he could have died. I could have killed him on Valentine's Day. But luckily we realized these cookies were contaminated. So that's my, that's my other fail. <laughs> There's lots of Valentine's fails. Um, okay, so filling in this black. You'll notice when I'm painting, um, I often am using a number six brush, which is the brush I'm using now. And this brush is great. It's a, it's a real sable brush, but you can get a sableite or a, um, a fake sable brush and 
if it's a nice quality brush, it'll do the same thing, but it holds a lot of paint while still having a nice fine tip. But with that being said, I used a much smaller brush for the mouth detail and for doing the eyes here. Um, and I end up using the smaller brush at the very end. I redo part of her bun where the hair is sticking out uh, because sometimes you just need the smaller brush. You just got to go for it. But usually I'm using this brush here, which is my number six, because I can fit a lot of paint onto the brush so I don't have to keep going back to get more paint. But I can also, um, you know, roll my brush, which I do a lot, and it creates a tip that's very, very pointy to get into those little um, nooks and crannies and to create details. So yeah, this brush is great because it's versatile. You can, you know, use more pressure to create a thicker stroke, or you can sort of twist the end of the brush on your palette to make a nice pointy tip. Ta-da! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had to stop myself from making a very inappropriate joke, but you know, this isn't really a channel for kids, so I'm figuring I could probably start breaking out the, the dirty jokes eventually. Um, okay, so here we are, all done, and just adding the final touches, the whites of the eyes needed to be a little white whore, and we've got this lovely ribbon, whoosh, swooping down. I'm getting more confident doing these swooshes. I think it's because I do the sound effect, it really helps. Swoosh. All right, there we go. So for real, happy Valentine's Day this time and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.